Hi guys, it's Matt, Saturday, you know the deal. Um, the topic this week um, is around disclosure and employment and the like. I don't have an awful lot to say about this, mostly because I've had a pretty easy ride of it. Apart from the whole finding a job bit, which has been hard. Um, the first couple of jobs I've had since coming out were jobs where part of the reason I've been employed was my being female where I hadn't quite, wasn't quite passing in person for the first one and the second one was a telemarketing job so I kind of came to the conclusion that I valued having the job as more important than being out or being correctly pronounced for that time period because I needed the money and because it was a part time job I think had these been full time jobs it would have been a lot more important to me that the employers knew me as male rather than just employing the girl I thought I was, but for a part-time job I just needed the work and so I kind of made that decision and at one point I got quite a lot of stick for that from other trans people, you know, if you were really trans stick, if you were really trans you wouldn't be able to cope with that, but actually I decided that I needed to do, I needed to have the job and that that was the most important thing and that I needed to do what was right for me, not what was right for other people. That's what I did, and it actually worked out pretty well, I think. Um, the next jobs I had were volunteer jobs, um, running a youth event, which I came out during to the other staff, the rest of the staff team, many of whom had known me since I was sort of 10, 11, and that went really well. It was a really positive experience. I got a letter of support from them, and it was just successful, you know. And for that, a lot of these people are probably vaguely know the rest of my life. And I wanted them to be part of this with me. I wanted them to know. I wanted them to be able to be interacting with the real me, not with uh, what they thought was me. So for that, it was important to be out. Um, and for my most recent job as a betting assistant, um, a couple of the staff members know because I had to disclose. Well, I didn't even disclose. I just handed over my passport and the deed poll let them put two and two together, they were male pronouning me, so they probably figured it out. Um, but the vast majority of other people don't know and just knew me as male. Essentially for me, whether or not to either come out or disclose, it's the same. It's about weighing things up. Is Will I be happier or less happy if I'm out or if I'm disclosing? Will the job be, will I be more likely to lose the job if I do one of those things? Um, for the first jobs, I decided that having the job would add more to my happiness than being outward be because I needed the money so badly. For the recent job, I kind of decided that I didn't need to be out because I was actually happier not being out, so I decided not to make any kind of song and dance out of just clothing and risk it. And for me, that's what it's about. Obviously, though, there are other factors. The betting job was for a massive company. Where I was working, they had 1,600 staff at that one location, and that was just one of their many locations. So for them, firing somebody for being trans would be problematic, to say the least. And quite frankly, the gender identity of one employee, probably not important to them. Probably didn't give a damn, quite frankly, as long as I could do my job. And I did that pretty well in general. Um, where smaller businesses, on the one hand, it'd be easier for them to fire somebody for being trans and they'd be more likely to see it as a personal thing. So that could be a good thing, they could see it as a personal thing that they really wanted to support their beloved employee group, or they could see it as a personal thing they were massively opposed to. In the UK, there's at least some legal protection for trans people in work. Um, so I think that makes a real difference. Quoting from a document prepared by Jaya's Gender Identity Research and Education um, called Transition at Work, 40% um, of the people who'd like to transition feel unable to do so in the work environment. Um, the 2010 Equality Act protects people who fall under the category of gender reassignment. Um, that covers individuals whether or not under medical supervision, their people who are associated with them, people who are perceived to be transsexual and basically anybody who is considering gender reassignment from any kind of harassment or discrimination um, relating to this.
Um, therefore, trans people are pretty safe at work in that way. It's pretty hard to fire somebody for being trans, particularly for a bigger business that cares about that kind of thing. So at least in the UK, it's probably, you're probably okay as a trans person looking for work. Not perfect by any means, and I speak from the position of having male privilege, obviously. But that's, that's kind of the situation as I perceive it. If anyone's got any specific questions about um, transition in the workplace in the UK, I can dig out some links and find some information people might find useful. Just send me a message here or on Tumblr, tzug, T-E-A-Z-U-G. Bye.